I just gotta take this in right now. Bloodborne Platinum happens today. Let's get it. What's such a beautiful main menu theme music? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Bloodborne. Today, I will begin the Platinum. Just like my Sekiro video, I got three goals or uh, three trophies I really need. For the platinum technically it's four don't mind the characters names we don't we're not gonna pay any attention to it we're just going in on my main character all right in the dlc i need two one is defeating orphan of cost and the other is getting all the hunter weapons and the last hunter weapon i need in the dlc is from orphan of cost for the main game i just need the other two endings and i already have the most difficult one of them all the thumerian queen that is in the chalice dungeons um we will be playing on my main character for getting these trophies um i am in new game plus right now this playthrough we will fight him and just get the normal en ending of out eating the umbilical cords because I already have that one. Then the next playthrough, I will fight, will not fight Garman. We'll go through all the normal bosses again and just let Garman kill us, getting the last ending, which will unlock the platinum. Ah, uh, Bloodborne. A game of crazy lore, even crazier boss fights. What a beautiful masterpiece Miyazaki created. One of the best in the Souls games, and I never understood why people loved it so much until I actually played it and beat my first playthrough of it. Going through my first playthrough, I had mixed feelings, didn't understand why people loved the combat, why people were so obsessed with this game and preferred it all over the Dark Souls games and even Sekiro or Elden Ring at some times. But now after defeating it, sinking almost 50 hours into the game, I can understand why people love it so much and I can say I am a person that loves it so much. Getting this platinum is gonna be amazing for me. I really fell in love with the lore watching videos, learning about all the atrocities that are going on in the Arnhem, the craziness of other dimensional beings, and of course, the blood. Just a beautiful masterpiece. And to, to think that this was only on PlayStation and that other people can't experience it is such a shame. Especially that it doesn't even have a remaster is a shame as well. All right, it is time to kill a... Uh, it's not a god in here, right? A great one. That's what they're called, a great one. This is on New Game Plus, not New Game. And I have never fought him before. So we'll see how this goes. Dude, the nerves are high. He's going to kick my ass. He's going to make me scared, dude. Let's get it. Considered to be one of the hardest in the series. We're definitely gonna need to send back up. <laughs> okay, considered to be one of the hardest in the series. By many people to be the hardest. I don't think he will be, but let's see. Oh man. Yes. I've been waiting, orphan. God, his screams are gonna be so loud. Freshly born. It's an infant great one. Yahoo! Too much detail, Miyazaki. My goodness. Let's dance. This is gonna be, oh, he's just crawling over his mom, dude. Okay. Okay, yeah, he, he's tanky, dude, with a beast blood pellet too. Oh, look at that damage. My God. All right, orphan, we see how it is. Rotate around him. Okay, never mind. We do chunky damage. Excuse me. Phase one? Phase two, I mean. Oh, okay. He's got... I like how he pushes us out into the water as we go further and further. 
Okay, he just gonna fully heal here. Proc another fire. Let's go! I missed. I'm dead. I missed. Woo! The OST goes hard. Thank goodness. Okay, he's going crazy. Someone stop him. Didn't spam me. Gotta take my time with it. Tried doing a transform attack, and he just fucked me. No transform attack for me. Let's go. Let's go, Koss. I want to fight you in the water, bro. I'm dead. Ah! Chill out, my boy. He's half now. Whoa. Chill, boy. I'm scared, dude. I'm real scared. I want my bolt paper to run out so I can use another one. The music picks up as he goes. Okay, he just ran over. Oh my, he almost killed me. Miyazaki. Music go too hard, bro. Okay, so that one you definitely got to go in. Dude, he's intense. Okay, just back the fuck up when he does that. Lightning? Excuse me? Sir? My goodness. Oh my god. Okay. Let's go. Heal up. Whoa! God, he's got so many moves. Let's dance. Whew. Ugh. It hits you no matter what. Woo! Cos, don't do this to me, bud. I'm sorry about your mom. And oh. ho 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 First try <laughs> Dude my heart is racing Orphan of Koss right there Defeat the great one oh. oh And then we got the weapon the Koss Parasite That didn't proc the achievement I was worried about that I was worried I needed one more Holy shit heart is racing Dude what a solid fight But if you come in prepared like I did I, I don't think he's the hardest if you know if you just if you know how to play bloodborne i don't think he's the hardest if you just dodge into him a lot instead of out but i can definitely see though if you get caught up in his attacks just one too many like his combos hit you just one too many times it's over it's insta kill so many different moves he is such a fun fight i just wanted to keep fighting him like that was so fun was i supposed to do that nightmare slain oh shit was this
sweet child of Kos returns to the ocean. The bottomless curse, the bottomless sea, accepting of all that there is and can be. Wow. Is that it? That is the DLC. We sent Kos out to the sea. All right, turns out we have a lot more things to do. Just a Sekiro's achievement. This one is going to be a little bit harder, a little bit non-linear. All right, so we're going to do a montage of getting all the little firearms and that one weapon we missed. And I'm also going to go grab the two versions of the Kos Parasite because I want it because it's going to be cool. Might use it in a playthrough. Let's do it. Depends. Do you have a weapon I want? <laughs> this guy's doing it. <laughs> okay, well, it's time to put him out. I don't want to talk to you. I want to read what people be saying. Despicable man. Reminiscent of a madman. Yeah, of course. Let's freaking end him, dude. Let's like that other guy did. And there's blood letter. Yes, sir. Okay, now we just need all the firearms. Bet. All right, little slimy worm. Move out the way for... Another gold achievement. Let's get it. Old Hunter's Essence. Acquire all Old Hunter weapons. Wow. All right, two more to go, and that is it. It is time for Mikolash. This could be either a really easy fight, or it's just going to be stupid and annoying, man. He's just, he's just an annoying dude. So annoying. Especially just that one attack a call from beyond. Oh, he's dead. Some say Carson. Do you hear our prayers? Look at this creepy dude. Oh my god, look at that smile. Abandon the tree. No one can catch us. No one can stop us now. Frickin' Mikolash. His dumb call from beyond is gonna mess me up, dude. I just know it. God, I don't remember how to do this. <laughs> there, I think we got him to go. If he goes straight back. Yes, okay. Alright, part one. Get rid of his goons. Get up, goon. Alright, Mikolash. Just you and me, bro. Boy. Okay, he can two-shot me. Good to know. He just uses his first one. I don't think he uses Call from Beyond in this one. Yeah, there's part one. Now, this next one's gonna be not fun. It ends now, Mikolash. Just don't Call from Beyond me, okay? Apparently oh, dude, one of them? That was one. Wow. There's a way to dodge it. I, I remember looking this up. Yeah, you stand in front of his foot that's forward when he does it. Yep. That is good to know. Come on, man. Fight back. Got bullied, bro. And there's Mergo. Yeah, you're cool, no. Dude, I hate the Shadows of Yarno. That's my least favorite boss in this whole entire game. What's up, Mr. Piggy? Boink. Not probably my favorite boss in this whole entire game. I don't know, the DLC bosses went hard. Not, it, like, before I played the DLC, this was definitely my favorite boss. Wow. Let's get it. This is also a great one, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, my one of my favorite OSTs in the freaking game. Ah, oh, this OST, man. Really? Already, huh? Okay, bet. Dude, it's so chaotic, but I love it. 
Woo! People hate this, and I'm just like, dude, this is sick. Okay. It lasts a little too long, I will admit that. Damn. But I still think it's so dope. And it doesn't happen often, it's super rare, apparently. That's why I was surprised it happened. You done? Thank you. All right, Murgo. Damn! Stop! Hit me. Yo, shit. Thank you. Just die, Murgo. It's time. We've had this baby long enough. And another umbilical cord is ours, but I won't be getting that ending, so we don't have to eat the umbilical cords this playthrough. Or the next one. Nightmare Slain. Now it's just Garman. Um... Yeah, out of all the bosses, honestly, the ones I'm not looking forward to are Shadows of Yarnum. Fuck those guys, all right? Let's just... Yeah, no. Those guys are horrible. Mikolash I was scared about, but now that I can actually dodge his attack... So dope. You awaken in the Hunter's Dream for the first time when this is on fire. So you have to kill Murgo without ever coming to the Hunter's Dream. Good Hunter. You have come. Dawn will soon break. This night and this dream will end. Gammon awaits you at the foot of the great tree. All right, I'm a little nervous for Garmin. Oh God, dude, Garmin, Garmin, Garmin. So we're fighting him this time, and then the next one we will just let him kill us. Refuse. Let's do this. He he might kill me, man. Dear, oh dear, what was it? The hunt, the blood, or the horrible dream? It doesn't matter. So sick. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Tonight, Gammon joins the hunt. Let's go. And then the music. So good. So good. All right, Garman, I'm terrified. We can try parrying him. But. There we go. Come on, Garman. God, I hate when he has this dumb hammer out, dude. Little trade skis? Okay, Garman. Oh boy. Freaking genius, Miyazaki. This fight is so good. Damn. If he rolls, we can maybe get him during the roll. I don't know. Damn. You need to stop. Get hidden by a little hidden <laughs> hit by that attack, dude. I'm too focused. I can't talk right now. Oh god. Garman, not like this, bud. God, this OST, dude, it's so good. So good. I keep trying to parry him when he does that.
Damn. Damn, Garman. Chill, Chief. It's three piece combo, bro. Let's go. No, Garman. I thought he buried me, dude. And it ends. Holy smokes. Plus almost 400k. Wow. Yeah, I didn't eat three umbilical cords, so I don't have to fight you. I don't know why I'm getting this cutscene. I didn't eat three of them. I think he just kills me. And the other one, you get to kill him. Okay. I was scared for a second. I was like, shit. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't eat three of them. Yep. And so the hunt begins again. I think that's technically the bad ending. The one where he kills you is also like a bad one. I don't know. Honoring wishes. Captivated by the moon presence, you pledge to watch over the hunter's dream. Let's go. One more playthrough and it is done. These credits are so good though. The music is just great in all these um in all the Souls games. And the credit sequences. Alright, on to the next one. Let's get it. One more playthrough, the platinum is mine. It's gonna be the last dream I experienced for the Platinum, at least. After that, it's self-induced, all right? Like, only on Bloodborne could this happen and be like, all right, that's normal. Cleric Beast on the bridge over there. I wanna do all the optional bosses, but at the same time, that takes a lot of time. Getting the Platinum, I'm not gonna be fighting all the bosses. Plus, like, the optional ones are pretty cool, but they're not, not that cool. I mean, I think out of all the optional in the main game, at least, Abitrius is, but the DLC bosses are really cool, but I don't wanna bang my head against the wall showing case in those ones when I'm just getting the platinum. Like I said earlier, getting the rare skits in the game right here where you wake up but after killing Murgo when this is on fire. God, there's so many little things in this game. The, the lore goes hard. Like I, I never understood Bloodborne and why people loved it, but the more I play it, it's just it just gets better and better. The more I play it just like I understand it and now that I understand it, it's one of my favorite games. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah honest honestly uh, Father Gascoin worries me a little bit. He's just I don't know. It gets so intense with him. Just running around. Ah, oh, this game. It's just gorgeous. Oh, we have to do it, boys. Every playthrough. A hunter must hunt. Damn, did I miss it? There it is. A hunter must hunt. Or as I like to say, a hunter must hunt. Beasts all over the shop. Sooner or later, you'll become one of them. He already took off his head. What more are you doing? Nah, I think you're becoming one of them. All right, Gascoin. Then he just charges at you like a goddamn maniac, dude. That's why I hate Gascoin. He's just fucking crazy, dude. Like, look at this. Just bullying me. No time to heal. I come here, bro. Oh, juicy. It always sings to me. Great. This one you gotta play aggro. Dodge towards them. Music go hard though. Excuse me? Come on, Gascoin. 
Sit down. He was, I don't know why, but he worries me every time. I can handle him just fine, but like, he still, he scares me. I, I mean, at the very beginning, I was choking. I guess, no, there is another optional boss, now I'm thinking about it, that I really enjoy. I don't know if I really enjoy is the right word, but he's really cool. He was actually the boss that like, took me the most tries, I think. Or he's the one that made me the most angry anyways, my first playthrough, and that was uh, Logarius, Margo Logarius. Screw that boy, dude, his boss run back, ridiculous. Your turn. Your turn. Now, oh, once you know the pairing timings, it's so good. Come on, man. Yeah. Now you're dead. There you go. Screw the Migdal and the Chalice Dungeons, dude. That definitely was the worst part about this Platinum, was going through all the Chalice Dungeons. I mean, I kind of enjoyed it. Those boss fights towards the end, though, were a little rough. This is Amelia time. Such a cool boss design. All right, Amelia, you gonna be difficult? I hope not. Listen, listen, all right? I'm purposely going on your side to avoid your attacks and you just think not. Okay, that was fair. You're just being mean to me now. Thank you. I'm trying to hit your arms so that you can do your stagger. Thank you. No. Bad, Amelia. No grab. Dude, she mad, bro. I mean, shit, I would be too. That was my part, Amelia. My fault. <laughs> my fault. Oh my goodness. There we go. There's the visceral. No. Die. Forgot about my L2s. Let's go, Amelia. One of the best cutscenes in the game. Let's get it. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. Such a huge lore importance. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born, born of the blood. blood. <laughs> Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Fear the old our blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. Oh god, okay, the hardest boss. Dude, Lawrence is so good. Such a good boss fight. Um, that little NPC in that room in Bergenworth, in that in that place, oh my goodness, that's the hardest boss of this run, dude. The one that has um, call, a call from beyond, busted, bro. Absolutely busted. Like, this is the run back to the boss. Like, this is kind of, this is ridiculous. I mean, it's not as bad as, like, the earlier Dark Souls run backs and stuff, but it's pretty long, and there's tons of enemies. It's like, it's an over, over a minute of straight running. Okay, and here is Chateaus. I'm not ready for this, but I never will be. Okay, I don't know which one to kill first. It's when the big snakes coming start coming out. I always have a problem with that too, but like, you're meant to have a problem with that. Don't have my fire on, rip. Let's go. Okay.
It doesn't break him out of his animation, unfortunately. Fuck you, dude. Fuck this stupid loss, bro. <laughs> I got so focused there, man. Alright, moving on. Bergenworth, and we got the dumb NPC, and then it's Rom. We do have a summon for Rom. I might use it. Oh, God. Open the door! Go, go, go! Well, um. William! Good sir! Screw you! Oh, William's, William's tanky, dude. Guys, I just want to kill William for the memes. Let me be. Listen to... Oh, they did it for me. Even better. It's been done. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, no, dude. <laughs> the memes took it, I took it too far. Oh, no, dude. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's what I get for killing William. I will be back, Rom. To Rom! This was so cool the first time I did this. I was like, what? And then the cutscene you get after, I was like, yo, what is Bloodborne's lore? This makes no sense. Spiders, don't... Spiders, don't do this to me, bro. Stop yo shit. I don't want to kill all of you. I just want to kill Rom. Rom, when did you do those? I didn't even... I wasn't watching you. I didn't see you doing that, Rom. You're making the Rom fight interesting for me. Oh, Rom! Yeah, big fish. I don't know why I called him a fish. He's a spider. <laughs> He's flopping around like a fish. That's why I called him a fish. Oh, Rom! Stop belly flopping on me, bro. So rude. Come here, Rom. Oh, that did so much damage. Like, me, I mean, I did so much damage. Rom, you're dead. You're done. Alright, you're done. There we go. Now it's one of the coolest cutscenes in the game. I love when you kill Rom, because the whole place changes. This next level I hate running through. Then we killed one reborn, run through some more levels. And it's Mikalash. Mergo, and we're done. Scammering, we don't fight this time. God, it's so good. So pretty, too. The red and the purple. Oh, my goodness. Miyazaki knows what he's doing, all right? Okay, one reborn time. Let's get it. Yeah, just like Orphan of Cost, man. Cool, but too detailed, Miyazaki. Alright, sir, it is time to get farmed. supposed to go up the stairs, kill the hunters first, but we're just gonna do it normal. And that liquid on the ground is killing us. What the fuck? God, this dude has so many AoEs. First the liquid, then there's the blast, then there's the body parts, like that? Like, god damn. We're supposed to farm this kid, and he's farming me, dude. And he's dead. Let's go. Get him out of here. All right. Now it's literally Mikolash, which I know how to cheese now. And Murgo. People hate this area. I don't mind it. I really like the Nightmare Mets. It's one of my favorite areas. People complained about this because of the frenzy, but I was all for it. Like, I thought this area was dope. The spiders, the bosses are here, Murgo and Mikolash. I mean, he, he's, a, he's a little annoying. But besides that, it's dope. Like, yeah, these spiders are here. Oh. The atmosphere, the level design, the amount of things you can do here, the items you get. 
the lore surrounding this area. I can go on. Sir, you're it. Sir? Really? In my freaking way. When I first walked in here and saw this, I was like, uh, I don't want to do this. All the DLC bosses are good. I mean, besides, you know, whatever their name is, the living failures. They're cool, especially when they do that space attack. But like Lady Maria, Ludwig, Orphan Akash was sick. And this, dude, I loved Lawrence a lot. I thought he was really sick. We've already seen your cutscene, so we're gonna skip it. It's scary when he doesn't do it. He's just swinging, bro. He's tired of my shit. He wants to fight me 1v1. Look at him go! Oh, Mikalash. It's over. Oh, all that's left is Murgo. We got two more piggies. Oh, look at their eyes, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, and I'm dead. <laughs> you see that, pigs? That's gonna be you. You shits. I actually don't know how the hell I'm gonna take these guys on. I gotta play it, like, really close. I need those blood echoes. To be fair, that pig gave me a lot. I can just farm that one pig. I'm dead. Alright, well, the pigs... Alright, the pigs have reigned supreme. Alright, they've shown me that they're just more powerful than any other being. Even the great ones in this universe. And they are not to be trifled with. So, um, henceforth, we are skipping the pigs. Murgo, it's okay. They're a hit. They're so tanky on New Game. My goodness. Mid heal, so that would have done a lot more damage. I think just backing up when she does that one. I think I'd learn by now. Our bolt paper's about to run out. Yeah, what did I say? Please don't do your your black phase again. Such dope dope boss. Oh, a little bit out of it. Damn, Murgo. No. We're not doing this. You're dying. <laughs> that could have been so bad. Got Bloodborns and Sekros now. On the road to get all of the Souls games. Such an amazing game. Comes to an end. It won't be my last time playing it, just like Sekiro won't be my last time playing that one. But the Platinum is mine. Garman, you get to do the honors. Good hunter. You've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. You will die, forget the dream, and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. Submit your life. Farewell, my keen hunter. Fear the blood. Fear the blood. Damn. So beautiful. <laughs> Why are we waking up in our armor set? <laughs> oh yeah, we just no longer have access to the hunter's dream, huh?
but everything else is still going on. Wow. Where is this place? Is this Century Arnhem still? It's obviously Arnhem, but... Wow. The night is over. Wow. Beautiful. I think out of all endings, this one's the longest with the most cutscenes. To be fair, one of the other ones gets another boss fight, but... Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Yarnum Sunrise. You lived through the hunt and saw another day. Bloodborne. All trophies acquired. Hats off. Hidetaka Miyazaki yet again. Another banger. What a fantastic game. This and Sekiro, one of my both favorites. Wow. I'm going to enjoy these credits. Gosh. Well, two Platinums down. We got more Platinums to go. We might not do Souls games, but I definitely will get them all eventually. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you all for joining me on this adventure in both the Sekiro and the Bloodborne. Uh, more to come, so keep a lookout on the channel. And yeah, make sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe. Um, yeah, thank you guys. Wow. Wow, 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 wow.